especially with the uh, abstract art, the freedom aspect is that you could actually see what comes out of you, out of your creativity. But if you actually have a canvas and you have the paints and you have your soft uh, with whatever skills you have, and then mainly the creativity as a base of, you know, for all this to sort of come together and for the painting to unfold. something comes out, the canvas that is very beautiful, like a circle, and it actually is uh, very beautiful in the first round of look, but if the canvas is not being processed, as well as also if the painting is just a, a first one that just showed up on the canvas, it sort of lacks a depth. It is there for people to sort of observe it in an unconscious level. I think a lot of the times, you know, when people look at the paintings, they see what they see first, and then they see the layers underneath them in a more sort of like a subtle ways. There's one word in the in the tantra that is called zal. Zal and uh, creativity, I equate them to be one. From the Buddhist tantra teachings, it is the open state itself, which is very rich, and all possibilities are within in that open awake state. of kind of appreciation of the creativity as well as the beauty that it uh, brings into the world and in all of our lives. That is something that we have to really sort of not at all 